Barber Motorsports Park, just outside of Birmingham, Alabama, is home to today's round of IndyCar racing. It's a hot one here today. It's 83 degrees with a track temperature of 109. We will see 23 cars from nine different teams take the grid for today's Grand Prix of Alabama. Today's race will be 11 laps and the pits will be open on laps seven and eight. So we are in for some thrilling action as strategy will be at play and we head to driver introductions. Fastest in qualifying yesterday, therefore on the pole today is the number 28 DHL Honda of Roman Grosjean, followed on the outside by the number two PPG Chevrolet of Joseph Newgarden. Row number two on the inside is the number eight Husky Chocolate Honda of Marcus Erickson, followed by Andretti Autosports' Colton Herta. Inside of row three is young Dutch driver Renus VK, and on the outside is Aero McLaren's number six, Felix Rosenquist. Inside of row number four is the 27 for Andretti Autosport, Kyle Kirkwood, and Team Penske's Will Power. Some young guns on row five on the inside is the number 10 for Chip Ganassi Racing, Alex Pillow, and on the outside is the number five Chevrolet of Pato Award. Inside of row six is the 18 of David Malukas, and on the outside is six-time champion Scott Dixon. Inside of row seven is the number three for Team Penske, Scott McLaughlin, followed by Christian Lungard and the number 45 Ray Hall Letterman Lanigan Honda. Row number eight is Devlin Francesco for Andretti Autosport and Hunkos Hollinger's Callum Eilat. Row number nine is two American drivers. Inside is the number 15 Graham Rahal and on the outside is the number seven Chevrolet of Alexander Rossi. Row number 10 is two series champions starting on the inside, Simon Pagano, and starting on the outside is Ryan hunter Ray. Inside of row 11 is the 78 of Augustine Canapino and on the outside is the 30 of Jack Harvey. And filling the final spot on the grid is the number 06 for Meyershank Racing, Elio Castroneves. This is a 12-turn road course that is a favorite event on the calendar for many IndyCar fans as we see the cars doing their parade laps before we come to the green flag. The cars will begin to pack up in a two-wide formation to get ready for the green. The leaders settling into a nice formation as they navigate turns 11 and 12 and then the front stretch to take the green flag. Pace car pulls off and we are green. Grosjean gets a great jump down the front stretch. Newgarden tucked in right behind him. Colton Herta pokes to the inside of Joseph Newgarden. He'll go from fourth to second in the first three turns in his yellow and black Gainbridge Honda. Erickson to the inside to take away third from Newgarden. And we've got contact between O Ward and Power on board with O Ward as we watch Will Power float to the outside of Kyle Kirkwood. And Power goes off just a bit. Dixon goes off as well. So two veterans going off there in turn six. We'll have to see if there's any tire concerns. Pato Award looking racy as he sits in ninth place. He looks to take away eighth from Will Powers. We see Grosjean lead the first lap. Award takes the spot. He goes side by side with Kirkwood into turns one and two. They make contact. The two young stars come together. Kirkwood able to keep that seventh position. We see Power go around Award as well. So Award losing the ground that he just made up. Falls back to ninth as we see Colton Herta stalking the back of his Andretti Autosport teammate in the lead, Roman Grosjean. Here they come through the last few turns down the front stretch. Grosjean will lead the second lap. Herta running in second. Erickson running third. Newgarden fourth. But here comes Renus VK to try to take fourth away. He's got to run down the inside down the front stretch. Newgarden not going to fight him too hard to keep the position. As we've got a peak for the lead from Herta, he tucks back in behind Grosjean. He's been very close to the back of his teammate the last few laps. He seems to have more straight line speed. He'll just have to be patient and settle in and wait for the right time to make the move. As Rosenquist looks to the inside of Newgarden in the orange and blue McLaren, takes away fifth position. We see the top four leaders. And we got a lockup. Renus VK is off the track. He slams into one of the NTT signs, and he has beached his car there. This could bring out the first yellow of the race on lap number three. Renus VK locks up. Must have dropped a wheel into the grass as we'll see a replay of this incident. You see the white and gold Ed Carpenter Racing Chevrolet of Renus VK at the top of your screen. We're gonna see what just happened here. As we see, he did drop a wheel into the grass. He locks up preparing to go into the brake zone for turn number 10 and just lost control of the car. So after the Renus VK spin, we will have a restart to begin lap number five. VK was running in fourth. We see him back on track, but now he has dropped to the back we saw Colton Herta chopping at the bit to get the lead from his teammate. He's got a good chance to do it this time by as we see the pace car pull off. And we are green. Not as good of a jump this time from Grosjean as Herta's right behind him. Herta in danger of losing second to Erickson. Herta tucking inside. He's going to try the same move he tried earlier. And he collides with his teammate and he spins. Takes Erickson with him as this will surely bring out a yellow. We'll take a look at a replay on board with Rosenquist. as a very optimistic move from Colton Herta to the inside of turn two of his teammate. Takes Erickson with him who had nowhere to go. So trouble early for two Hondas that were running up front in the race. We'll take a look here at the top 10 running order. 
on lap number five. Of course, the pole man, Roman Grosjean, still sitting in first. Rosenquist jumps up to second, followed by two Penske cars right behind him of Newgarden and Power. Kyle Kirkwood runs in fifth, Pato Award sixth, Scott Dixon seventh, Christian Lungard eighth, Alex Pillow ninth, and Devlin Francesco rounds out the top 10. So still three Andretti Autosport cars in the top 10, although Colton Herta is now out of the race. We'll have to see what happens with Ericsson if he's able to return to the track. We will restart to begin lap seven. The pits are now open and the leader is in, Roman Grosjean ducks to the pit lane as Felix Rosenquist stays out to inherit the lead. Kyle Kirkwood, Pato Award, Scott Dixon, and Christian Lungard will stay out behind Rosenquist as well as we see the lead group on the pit lane. And it looks like David Malukas for Dale Coyne Racing is in as well. Here are the leaders on pit lane, Roman Grosjean, Joseph Newgarden, and Will Power. It will be a race out of the pit lane. Newgarden jumps out ahead of his teammate. He'll maintain the position, but Grosjean does not come out of the pits, and we are hearing from his team that they will have to retire the car due to tub damage from contact with Colton Herta. So the pole sitter out of the race as we see battle for position between the Penske cars. On board with Will Powers, he's got a run to the inside of his teammate going into turn four. Both drivers on the crucial outlap with cold tires, power deep on the brakes. Newgarden's going to be able to go back to the inside, and he's going to pull off a spectacular over and under move heading into turn five. Newgarden stays ahead. The leader is in. Felix Rosenquist pulls into pit lane with Kyle Kirkwood right behind him. He'll pull into his Aero McLaren pit stall. Pato Award and Scott Dixon on pit lane as well. We are watching the blend between these Penske cars on track and the rest of the leaders that are on pit lane right now. We'll see where they blend out. Scott Dixon and Rosenquist with contact on pit lane. It's going to be a race. Kirkwood pulls out in front of Rosenquist. Newgarden escapes with the lead, but Kirkwood and Power are going to go side by side through turns two and three down the backstretch headed into turn four. They're side by side. Power with the speed on the high side with the draft from Newgarden. Kirkwood still tucked to the inside. We'll see who's going to come up with second place coming out of turn four. And Kirkwood, he'll take second as Will Power tucks in behind him. The Ganassi cars battling for eighth on their outlet. Alex Pillow to the inside of Scott Dixon going into turn four. We got a lockup from Christian Lungard in front of him. Pillow takes to the inside. He's going to go from ninth to seventh in one corner. So Alex Pillow up to seventh spot. A great outlap so far from Pillow as we got our eyes back on the leaders. Joseph Newgarden in the lead as Kyle Kirkwood. He runs in second with Will Power running in third and the McLaren cars right behind him. Padua Ward's got to run to the inside of Felix Rosenquist going into turn one. Rosenquist is going to stay strong to the side of Padua Ward and they're going to go side by side through turn two. We'll see who has the speed down the backstretch. Pato Award jumps ahead of Felix Rosenquist going into turn four on board with Rosenquist as we watch him follow his teammate. We see Kyle Kirkwood has created a nice gap back to third place Will Power and his pink AutoNation Honda and Joseph Newgarden has created a nice gap back to Kirkwood as well. So those two run first and second with Will Power running third, but Pato Award not too far from taking it from him. Felix Rosenquist runs in fifth, Alexander Rossi in sixth, Lungard seventh, Polo eighth. Big run from Scott McLaughlin to the inside of Scott Dixon to take away ninth in the yellow and white Chevy. So Dixon drops back to 10th, Malukas 11th, and he's got a big lockup. He's going to hit the wall hard on the outside retaining wall in the final turns. A tire pops off, and Graham Rahal and Marcus Erickson barely avoid it. So this will bring out a yellow and set up a one-lap shootout for the win. We see Pato Award did take away third place. So Joseph Newgarten will lead the field to green with one to go as we see Pato Award got a nice run down the inside and was able to pull away from the Penske driver. Here's the restart, final lap, pace car is off. Joseph Newgarden leads the field down the front stretch. He's got a great jump, white flag is out. Kirkwood gets closer, Will Power to the inside of Pato Award to take away third on board with Rosenquist as he tracks down the top four. Kirkwood's right there, he's got to look to the inside of turn four, he can't quite make it stick. Newgarden takes the long way around as Pato Award's gonna take back third place from Will Power. Kirkwood right on the bumper of Joseph Newgarden through turn seven. Kirkwood's tires are one lap newer than Newgarden's. He's got to run, he gets closer. There's not room to pass. He's going to take an outside run going into turn 11. It's going to be a side-by-side -side drag race down the front stretch to the line. And Newgarden barely survives the attack of Kyle Kirkwood on the last lap. Though the tires were more worn, but Newgarden able to survive. And he is victorious here at the Grand Prix of Alabama as he gets the congratulations from teammate Will Power. Here's a replay of the move, a nice over and under, but he was able to stay ahead of his teammate who ended up finishing in fourth. Felix Rosenquist comes home in fifth and Marcus Erickson with a nice rebound back into 10th after dropping to 22nd. So Kyle Kirkwood finishes second, Pato Award in third, but it's all about the number two car and crew who was able to win today at Barber Motorsports Park. Joseph Newgarden is victorious in Alabama.